Hello world, welcome to Vim Quickie. In this one, I'm going to be talking about text objects. Vim comes with a set of text objects. For example, the sum inside quotes is a text object. I can operate on those text objects. That is, I can use the verbs delete, change, yank, copy, indent, and others. So if I want to change the insides of these quotes to thing, I should start with the verb C for change, I for inside, and a literal double quote for double quote and then type in whatever I want. Here, I just want to pass the variable crowd to this call to sort it. I need to first be in the vicinity of the brackets and then do a CI and a B for bracket or a literal paren opening or closing. So CIB will put me into the insert mode and then I can type crowd. There's another variant of this which allows us to operate around the object. Here, I want this access to use the get method and pass operating system to it. So I also want to get rid of the square brackets along with the content inside it. I'll get into the vicinity and now I want to see for change A for around instead of I and a square bracket and that will delete everything inside the square brackets including the square brackets. And now I can type dot get of operating underscore system. Here's an exaggerated example where the indentation needs to be fixed inside these curly braces. The verb to indent to the right level is equals. So equals I capital B will get me there. You could also use a curly bracket instead of a capital B. You can look at more text objects by doing colon help text objects. You can also define your own text objects like I've done here, which allows me to operate on the entire file. I can do DAE to delete everything inside the file. In this file, as you see that the indentation is messed up, I can do equals AE to re-indent the entire file. For the last text object, I'm going to get into an HTML doc. And the spotlight is going to be on T for tags. Say I want to change the title. I can get on this line and do CIT for change inside tag and type in the new title. Say I want to delete everything inside this URL. I can place the cursor on it and do DIT for delete inside tag. If I want to get rid of this entire section, I can do DAT for delete around tag. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.